Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog here, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna be talking over for this particular cutscene because it plays exactly like how it did in, uh, before you reached into the space gadget level, so, yeah, I'm gonna be talking for that specific cutscene, so, what's really odd is the fact that that, that particular environment, as you can see right there, that takes place in Iron Jungle, so, but except this time around though, that sh these, uh, copies of Shadow Androids is no longer to be seen, along with Dr. Eggman, of course, so, uh, yeah, as you can tell, that most of the models of this game heavily borrowed from Sonic Heroes, so, it's one of the things out, but I'm sure many people already know about this, so, uh, I really do like the look of the actual ship, by the way, because, as you can tell, not only does it able to actually get ourselves, uh, the actual ship like this, but in the front of it, it does contain Tornado 2 from Sonic Adventures 1 and 2. So, uh, but anyways, that's the only scene I'm talking through, so let's enjoy the next new scenes. A Chaos Emerald? You've gotta be kidding me, guys. This is like taking candy from a baby, which is fine by me. Shadow, help, help me! me. Maria? Please, Shadow, I need your help. My grandfather's experiments. Something's gone horribly wrong. What is it? The research lab. It's going to be destroyed. Something must be done. Please, Shadow, I beg you, help Grandfather and those aboard the Ark. Please! I'll be there, Maria. I swear, whatever it takes, I'll take care of the Ark and the Professor. Oh, here we go, folks. On to the worst level in the whole entire game. Shadow, this way. The experimental monsters are in here. They're on a rampage. Please, you're the only one who can protect the Ark. Those liquid green... I'm worried about the Professor's safety. Stop the experimental monsters. Alrighty, folks, here we go on to the next part and also the final stage 5 level. So, before we get into this, however, though, hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Sonic the Hedgehog here. I said this before in the beginning, so yeah, I'm back for some more of yet again for the likes of the Maxi Toys videos, of course. But, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my last play of Shadow of the Hedgehog for the Nintendo GameCube. PlayStation 2, and of course, Xbox. So, yeah, last time we actually did manage to completely done with uh, only two missions, including by the forms of the next boss fight, by the forms of the Blue Falcon, and uh, the stage we did manage to play through previously, it was the Ark. And uh, today for this episode is the fact that, as I said this before, we are about to be exploring through the worst level in the whole entire game, at least in my opinion though, anyway. Here we are on to The Lost Impact, a spiritual sequel to the forms of the Doom level. Why? Because it takes place on the exactly the same structure for how it does it in the Doom level, but ten times worse than that, how the fact of the matter is though, is the fact that it's almost like a completely in the maze, just like in the forms of how it does it in the Doom level. However though, the biggest difference is here is the fact that obviously that just like in the forms of the Ark level, there's only two missions. See, Fernando, that, uh, and I think this is the only level that does not feature a dark mission, because, um, obviously, because, uh, this is the last of one of the stage five levels, and, uh, after all that, then we can able to finally move on to the stage six levels. See, Fernando, we're really looking forward to the stage six levels, maybe even then I'll mention more on that whenever we get to the very end of this video. So, uh, anyways, though, um, so here we go, to start things off with the forms of the Lost Impact, is the fact that uh, for the hero mission is probably is the worst thing about this uh, level for me though, is because as you can see, that we need to destroy about roughly 35 of those artificial chaos. What's so bad about it? Well, they might be around here somewhere in any kind of rooms that you really want to explore in most parts. However though, the biggest issue about this level though, at least I said this before, is like a maze. So you can't really tell where the, uh, the real artificial chaos was supposed to be located. And, uh, sometimes though, that the main gimmick about this level though is that, you, as you can see, we're going to have a little bit of a fun ride on the gun left. Which, even then, uh, that way you're able to take you to a different, uh different kind of rooms around here. So, uh, 
that's as far as memories goes, that's why I can say about it here. So, uh, but luckily though, this, uh, this, this level does have a goal wing, but, uh, again, with the forms of the maze like this, well, you have to figure it out, but the only way you can figure out the maze is that, once again, we have to look at the map on the wall, as you can see there. Because, uh, you can't really able to have the built-in map or anything like that, which is kind of a shame, because even then, that I've heard for that so many people seem to have a lot of trouble in this level for the first time playing for this, because if they really want to go for the pure hero ending, to be more specifically in the final stage 6 levels, in the forms of, uh, at the very bottom of the actual map, then you have to go with the forms of the hero mission until you're able to proceed to the, the stage 6 levels, or to be more specifically, the ones at the very bottom, because even then, if you don't do it, however though, then it will actually lead you to a different stage 6, which even then, I will mention more on that whenever we get to the stage 6 levels, until in the later days and a later time. So, uh, anyways though, um, Something's worth mentioning though, is the fact that, oh yeah, as far as uh, how to able to actually get to the forms of uh, the Lost Impacts, by the way, is the fact that in order to actually get to this level is that you can do the hero missions in either Mad Matrix to able to activate all the four terminals, or you can able to do the hero mission in Death Ruins to able to annihilate these uh, black creatures with Rouge. So, uh, that might be the only two methods you can able to get to this level. So apart from that though, this level stinks. Because I've heard so many people about the fact that whatever they do, the hero mission, they're gonna have a hard time playing for this level, especially if they're really trying to find the rest of the artificial chaos in this area. But uh, still, it, this is easily without doubt one of my least favorite levels of the whole game, and even the worst level in the entire game as a matter of fact, because uh, most of the time that most of the rooms can able to lead you for certain dead ends, and uh, one thing is kind of painful by the forms of the artificial chaos as you can see right there, uh, basically that how the fact that it, it just has so much health, um, health bars, and even then, we have to drain that thing down with uh, any sort of consequences. Because if you manage to able to uh, get like smaller bullets at them, uh, sometimes they actually spread up by the forms of those, uh, you know, these little uh, mini enemies themselves, which I can't read exactly what their names are. I do apologize for that. But uh, the ones you really have to aim for is its head. And as a result, they can easily be taken down with easier moments. But. Again, if you really want to go for like the uh, the pure hero ending, you have to find every single one of those artificial chaos. Like, you know, the level is so bad because it's so confusing, and plus it's also pretty slow as well, just like any forms of the Doom level. But uh, technically speaking, you you don't have to touch this particular level in order to actually get the uh, the pure hero pathway because all you have to do is uh, you have to get to. Uh, uh, space gadget level and do the hero mission there, which uh, I will mention more more on that whenever we get to the you know the stage six level. So uh, you guys should probably know what I'm talking about here. So uh, yeah, that's as far as I can say about the forms of the lost impacts. Well, at least the music is all right, but it's more likely somewhat of a relaxing and peaceful uh, tune of music. But apart from that. Um, I just really think this level is really bad, especially because of how the fact that, well, if only for the hero mission will be a really, really bad scenario. Well, at least in the, uh, the normal, uh, mission might do a lot of work, but, uh, it's just the how the fact of the matter is, though, is that you really have to go through a lot of, uh, maze work. So, uh, yeah, that's the, the most annoying aspect about this level, so, uh... Yeah, and you really can't afford to, like, miss one if you, like, if you really want to get the, uh, yeah, don't get me started on the forms of the A rank on this particular mission, is that you really have to be extremely fast without even wasting your time before you're able to actually find the rest of the artificial chaos around here. And, uh, yeah, believe me, it will take me a lot of tries to able to actually do this, but not only on my GameCube version, as you can see right there, well, at least I did manage to already got it at the time, but um, I did manage to have done this on the original Xbox, but I haven't really done it yet for the uh, the PlayStation 2 version because you know how the fact that the PlayStation 2 version is considerably the worst of the three, just because of how the fact that once again it has like the worst frame rate ever exists of, and uh, I think that's all it comes together. So uh, yeah, as a result, I after when I'm done with this mission, then I'm probably not going to touch this mission ever again, even for my whole entire life. Even though they'll have to replay this level with uh, 
the PlayStation 2 version coming up, so uh, as a result, yeah, it sucks. And also, to make those worse is the fact that if you manage to fall off from here, as you can see right there, then naturally you have to able to like, yeah, you have to take the elevator and, oh yeah, I realized I can't able to go back up, shoot. So yeah, um, if you accidentally use the checkpoint's teleportation device, uh, not only does it able to actually bring you back to this certain spot, well, usually most of the time right there, but uh, what makes this, like, extremely painful is the fact that the artificial chaos's health bar will regenerate, so that's a little bit of a problem right there. And, uh, because I'm presuming I did not meant to homie attack onto that, uh, yeah, whatever you do for this point, do not homie attack onto the artificial chaos because it doesn't do that much damage, but, uh, the best weapon to able to actually take it down uh, the forms of the artificial chaos, it was practically speaking, it would have to be the rocket launcher. So th because of that, it will do a massive damage. So even then, though, that way you can able to actually do it from there. But uh, still, I just really hate this level in a huge passion. But still. But good news, folks, is the fact that we've pretty much almost nearly towards the end of Shadow of the Hedgehog already, before we're able to move on to the redo let's play of Sonic Lost World for the Nintendo Wii U, most likely. So that way we could able to go ahead and uh, deal with the rest of the Sonic games. And can you get into that? Oh, great. The game decides that it makes me think that how the fact that it just managed to clip right through the actual gun soldier. Jeez. So anyways though, um, not to mention because of how the fact that if you really want to find uh, every single artificial chaos, it, not to mention because of how the fact that the mission itself will take forever to able to finish it. And yeah, there's normal going, which I might as well do that later. But uh, apart from that though, that uh, yeah, it, it can usually just take about like 10 minutes before you're able to finish up this entire mission, which even then, or perhaps even longer if you get confused or lost. Which even then though, that uh, yeah, it's just it's just really bad and awful mission, and uh, yeah, that's as far as I can see how this will go. So, uh, but as long as I can able to know what I'm doing with this point right there, then obviously then uh, I'm pretty sure I can able to get on with it. But uh, for you again, first time playing for this uh, particular uh, mission in this level, then you probably spend most of your time by just wandering around all over the place, thinking like of a maze. But, uh, as you can see, I've reached to the 10 minute mark, so because of that, I really can't guarantee to get myself the glorious A rank on this run, so, yeah, that really sucks, because even then, uh, just like the Dark mission in the Doom level is the fact that this is one of those missions, how the fact that I didn't seem to get an A rank from, because, well, at least in Glyphic Cannon, that I accidentally died due to the collusion detection, but not so much by the forms of the actual level itself, so, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and deal with the final artificial chaos, and good thing about this though is the fact that it's usually on the exact same place, depending if, uh, if you ever revisit to this level, but even then, uh, let's go ahead and deal with the last one, and there we go. Jesus Christ, I hate this mission in huge passion still. As I promised you, Maria, I will protect the Professor and the Ark. So I spent about 10 minutes or more than that, so let's see what rank I've get. I guess save for that. That's just pure garbage. Just pure garbage in general. But anyways though, let's revisit this level for the final time before we move on to the stage 6 level, so... But again, it's the final of those stage 5 levels, so things should be down by then, so uh... At least to me though, thankfully though, the normal mission wasn't so bad. At least if you're able to try to figure out where exactly where the goal ring is though. And I think it's gonna be right after by the forms of the final two, or right before where the final two gun lifts are, so... But even then, now that's as far as we can say about this here. Unless if you actually use the chaos control to be able to actually skip this level entirely. But uh, not for long though, just because of how the fact that, well... You know, you get the idea for this point. In fact, speaking of such, this is actually the final time we're going to be doing the normal type missions because at this point, until whenever we get to the stage 6 levels, it's going to be the matter of, of uh, between both missions, which there are the hero missions and the dark missions. So even then though, that uh, because of how the fact that there are, you know, as to be expected, you have to get like 10 endings in order to actually just reach the final story segment. But, uh, if depending on uh, what mission you go for, then you can get one of the uh, ten, ed ten different endings. So even then though, it depends on what your pathway is going to take, and uh, what choice you want to go for. Which even then, 
Um, before we're able to actually move on to save six levels until at some point in some later days, well, at least after when me and Pinkie Pie are pretty much done with uh, uh, the one recording sessions, or actually a few recording sessions of uh, Super Mario Party so far still. So because of that though, um, stage six might take a really, really long time to able to actually just try to do a process going, because even then, that uh, we have to edit up a lot. I mean a lot of editing work. Stuff like... Uh, you know, some cutscenes, and especially noticeable with the one of the 10 ending routes, and uh, that's as far as I can usually try to think about for the time, unless if there was a, uh, a theme song, it depends on what endings you go through, which I will mention more on that whenever we get to the, uh, you know, the stage 6 level, so uh, things should be pretty exciting at the same time though, but even then, uh, we'll find things out whenever we get to... Uh, the first stage six level until uh, at some point in Monday. So even then though, uh, because of that though, we just want to get this game finished before we move on to the forms of the redo let's play of uh, Sonic Lost World. And uh, well, specifically on the Wii U version because you know, I'm probably not gonna touch the 3DS version ever again because of this special stage on that game sucks. Anyways though, and by the way, they, if these little meteor rocks all annoys the crap out of me just because of how the fact that I swear I did manage to destroy them, but they act out pretty explosive most of the time. So uh, that could be the pretty much an annoying hazard throughout the majority of the level. So yeah, that's a little bit of a bad situation on my part. So, but anyway, so anyway. But as long as you know what you're doing with the actual level layouts, especially how the fact that where the most of the actual like. Uh, the rooms are. You will be fine unless if you're first time playing this level though, it'll give you a lot of hard time on this level. So, uh, but I digress. So, again, the goal ring is just usually on the door on the left, so that way you could able to actually get to there, because in the door on the right, you can just simply get more ammo with the forms of the actual guns themselves. So there we go. It's flipping over. There's no doubt about it. I remember this place. The Ark. The place I was born. Oh, good lord. That was it, ladies and gentlemen. That was the worst level of the game out of the way done. So, but even then, though, I'm not gonna touch that level again. It sucks, it's terrible, and I'm finally glad we're gonna be moving on. So there you go, folks. I think that's it for every single Stage 5 levels. Um, they're alright, except only one level, which is, of course, uh, the Lost Impact, because screw that level. <laughs> In fact, funny thing about this is the fact that, um... You know how uh, Maria's model is actually heavily more accurately, it's kind of like the Barbie doll or something like that, which even then it kind of freaks me out a bit, so... But even then, that's as far as I can say. So anyways, join me next time on Let's Play Shadow of the Hedgehog, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that we are finally going to be able to begin this stage 6 level, starting with Lava Shelter. See, so even then though, things should be very, very, be very interesting at the later part, so see you then.